In the beginning of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains to Arjuna the basic principles to get free from suffering and to attain lasting happiness. He basically tells him that he is not this physical body, but an eternal soul. And once you free yourself from the chains of bodily identification and identify more with this ever blissful Atman or Self, then and only then will your fulfillment last. And how to get to this state? Well, for that Krishna describes the different kind of yoga paths and says that, for example, Karma Yoga, the yoga of selfless action, is very important. He says in chapter 3 verse 9, Apart from action done in a spirit of sacrifice, this world is bound by action. Therefore, Arjuna, being free from attachment, you must act with this purpose alone. Everything we do, every action should be done in the spirit of sacrifice. We should not run away from our duties or try to avoid them. No, we should do them selflessly without expectation for the outcome and for the welfare of all. Later he says that the best is to do everything as an offering to God. If we act like this in this world, then every action becomes a spiritual uplifting action. If you want to understand better how and what sacrifice really means, you should watch the video The Secret of Sacrifice. I've put the link in the description. In chapter 17, Krishna is now explaining sacrifice in relation to the three gunas. Sacrifice can be considered as an ancient fire ceremony, which is mentioned in the Vedas, or like explained in the previous verse, it can be related to every action in our life. So Krishna says in chapter 17 verse 11, the sattvic sacrifice is one that is performed in strict accordance with scripture, without any desire for reward, and it is motivated by a sense of duty. So here we see the definition of karma yoga, without desire for reward and motivated by the sense of duty. For example, a mother, a mother who takes care of her child. She does so not with the expectation that the child will reward her, but her action is purely motivated by a sense of duty. And like that, every action, every sacrifice should be done. In the next two verses, chapter 17, verse 12 and 13, he explains the rajasic and tamasic sacrifice. But Arjuna, the sacrifice which is performed with an expectation of reward and for the praise of others is in the nature of rajas. And the sacrifice which is not based on scriptural authority, which is without proper offerings or recitation of mantras, which does not have offerings to the brahmanas or any sincere faith, is considered to be tamasic in nature. So we can see a repetitive statement. Basically, Rajas is looking for fame and glory, full with expectations, and will finally always bring bondage and more suffering. When he speaks here about the tamasic sacrifice, which is not based on the scriptural knowledge, he seems to refer mainly to the Vedic sacrifice, which has been passed on through the ages in certain traditions. That is relevant because people sometimes just make up some forms of worship without knowing the proper science behind worship. A worship or sacrifice without the proper chanting of mantras, without offering dakshina or appreciation to the executing priest, without feeding the people the prasadam or the sanctified food, and without faith. These are the qualities of a sacrifice which is tamasic and it doesn't bring a positive and spiritual uplifting outcome. So that's why it is important to follow the scriptural injunctions and to have the guidance of a spiritual master so that we don't fall, but rise spiritually. In reality, it is quite easy. One of my favorite verses in the Bhagavad Gita says, in chapter 9, verse 27, Whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you offer in sacrifice, 
whatever you give away, whatever austerity you practice, O Arjuna, do it as an offering to me. Make your whole existence about serving God, who is present within everybody and everything. This message goes throughout the Bhagavad Gita and is also mentioned in other religions, traditions and spiritual paths. The focus on God, to offer Him everything, to serve Him with every thought, word and deed, that will make your life automatically sattvic and rise you even beyond the material reality and the gunas. Stay tuned for further videos and subscribe, like and share. Jai Gurudev.